Y'all got a film of the fee, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into Sherelle's synops- synopsis on court yesterday when her and Danny went to court. Now, before we get into this, on my Patreon, I have the court, um, what you call it? I have the court recording that Sherelle crazy tail self put on the internet, which is completely illegal. I don't know why she would do that. She just appreciate the resale, friend. She just found out it was illegal. Okay, so she had to take it down. However, I have it. It's gonna be on the Patreon. Hit the pin comment. Y'all will be able to see. Um, and that's what we're gonna do. All right, y'all. So I just found out it was illegal for me to have that footage, but the transcripts will be out this evening, and I'm gonna just go through that and do the rendition with y'all. But real quick, let me go ahead and clear it up. Somebody was in my comment section talking about it must have not went in Sherelle's favor because Danny said that the judge ruled in her favor, which is partially true. The judge said, I do not see any inklings of any threats or harm that she was going. Clearly, he's saying y'all was going back and forth on the Internet. The only thing I'm going to grant is that this girl don't come back up to your place place of business this bitch got on the stand a lot of time i was up there harassing her employees i was up there recording in her establishment talking about how i was gonna whoop her ass all types of shit but y'all are gonna see when the transcripts come out because i'm gonna break them bitches down danny stop fucking lying <laughs> stop fucking lying you saying that to the motherfuckers who just loose goose and, and gullible and just gonna listen to you and, and feel like oh my god danny went you a millionaire just like the judge said Y'all claim to have all this fucking money. I said, Your Honor, I never claimed to be a millionaire. <laughs> never did. He said, Well, you got all this money and you didn't come with an attorney. She said, I hired him this morning. Yeah. You know now I, mean? I ain't gonna lie, Danny. That's crazy for you not to have no damn attorney. Not taking somebody to court ain't got no damn attorney. Appreciate the sub, friend. I bet you did. How you hiring an attorney this morning? But but he didn't say, oh, well, I'm going to go up there real quick, submit that I'm on this case, and ask for a reset. Whatever. But she did say that she was going to sue me for defamation. I can't wait. Sue me for defamation. I'm ready to tell y'all inside out in court, baby. But anyways, <laughs> yeah. The the judge said he didn't see me threatening. <laughs> he didn't see me do and I'm mm. All right, y'all. So I just found out it was illegal for me to Damn. have that footage. You saying that to the motherfuckers who just hired him this morning. Yeah, I bet you did. I bet you did. How you hiring an attorney this morning? But but he didn't say, oh, well, I'm going to go up there real quick, submit that I'm on this case, and ask for a reason. Definitely hate to see her coming. Whatever. But she did say that she was going to sue me for defamation. I can't wait. Sue me for defamation. I'm ready to tell y'all inside out in court, baby. But anyways, yeah. The, the judge said he didn't see me threatening. <laughs> he didn't see me doing none of that. He just don't want me to go back up to the peach collar factory. But he looked me dead in my face and said, it's a temporary order. Okay? And then he said, I need an order drawn up, submitted in, so that we can get it filed with the courts. She's sitting there looking like a loose motherfucking goose. He talking to you, sweetheart. <laughs> Go and type up whatever the fuck it is that you were looking for so he can file it and get it with the courts. Oh, okay. Am I free to go? Yep. Walked up out of there. Girl, like today's court session was so crazy. And if you got to see it, well, you got to see it, but I had to make it private because... I got to wait on the transcripts to come out, and then I can. But y'all already know. I'm going to bust this down with y'all. I had Child, so she going to mess around and not get a defamation case because um, this fool done recorded it and put it out on the internet. So much fun up in court today. It was crazy. <clears throat> and then, bitch, you going to come in there. You going to sit right next to me? You going to sit right next to me. Let me show y'all real quick. You going to sit right next to me. I like your heels. You talking to me, but you in fear of your life. Make it make sense. Like, I just don't be understanding. What the fuck, Craig? <laughs> anyway, y'all, that's pretty much how court went today. She got on the stand. She played three of my TikTok videos. She said I've been harassing her business since February 2024. Bitch, you just opened up the Peach Cobbler Factory this month. I mean, last month in August. So how was I harassing you? Then I asked her why she brandished a weapon. She's talking about, because if you ever come near me, it's going to be a stand your ground law, and I was going to use it. I said, why would I need to come near you back Excuse in February of 2024? She said, you wouldn't. I said, exactly. You didn't open your business till last month. Next. I said, you filed this thing September the 3rd saying you needed protection, basically, right? Right after you filed it, you got on the internet and said, my mama dead, my edge is gone, my nigga don't like me, blase, blase, I better have my ass in court. For somebody who's in fear of their life, why are you posting this? She said, the same reason you got on the internet talking about it, talking about you ain't, you ain't afraid of no, no uh, lawsuit, you ain't afraid of no protection order, da, da, da. I did say that. I found out that there was one against me. I'm not the one that said I was afraid of somebody. I'm not the one who said I'm in fear of my life. No, I'm standing on all 10. So you saying all of this, but then you turned around and you post to antagonize me more. 
I find that just so comical. You know what I'm saying? I said on September the 3rd. I, I don't think responding is antagonizing you more. I think that she was able to respond because you're saying something to her. Also filed that you need a protection and that you wanted an injunction, but then you turned around and you released my naked ass on your Facebook page. <laughs> well, you went and I got proof that you went and posted my video. I said, you have proof? She said, yes. I said, hmm, interesting. And y'all know me, I'm, all, I'm just building up for what, what's about to come next. I don't, I'm asking all the right questions, injunction. So she put this, she put out Danny's little thing on TikTok, not put it out like a whole five minute video of it, but like cl a clip to where you can see her. Um, That'll probably be enough proof for her. Protection and order. hers is already on the internet. That's the difference. And no, I forgot, I think y'all told me she sent that to to her or something. Oh. Building up for what's about to come next. This is small things to a motherfucking giant. You get what I'm saying? So I was like, all right, you posted all of that. So read this. I pulled up the CPS reports. She said, I said, what is this? She said, oh, you talking about the report your auntie wanted me? I said, no, 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 no. What is this? She said, um, it looked it looked like a report I filed with the Texas Department of Children's Services. I said, okay, move that one. I slid the next one. I said, what is that? She, she said, that's that's another one. I filed eight of them. I said, so you do know in the state of Texas, it's a felony to file a fraudulent CPS report against somebody. She said, no, it wasn't fraudulent. Your auntie wanted me to do it. I said, you said one of my family members whom you don't know reached out to you and said, I need you to call CPS. I need you to get on your platform and have your people call CPS. Then I proceeded to show her. I said, what is this right here? I said, read it. She proceeded to read. Anybody who want to make a report on this girl, I've already inboxed you her name, her date of birth, her address, her phone number, all of that. I said, so you telling the courts that I released All this shit that they doing is nasty, nasty work, y'all. It's your address, but you put on your page how you was just randomly sending complete strangers all my information to the house where my kids are. Don't you think you're putting them in harm's way? Boy, look, I was tearing her ass up in court. Do not let Danny get on here and lie to y'all. I can't wait for the transcripts to come out because y'all got to meet me back here. Transcripts come out tonight. Y'all got to meet me back here. Get y'all popcorn ready because we about to have a motherfucking blast. I promise. Don't let this bitch lie to y'all. She didn't know what the fuck she was doing. Ain't no way you came in there as a plaintiff. Your ass got up there on the stand, was up there for no more than three fucking minutes, got down, played these fucking three TikTok Facebook videos. She got loud when she was around Corey. Where was that at? And then crossed it over to me for... Where is that at, Nita? Me to be able to cross-examine you. And now you want to get on the internet and say the judge ruled in your favor. You're right. He did. He said I couldn't take my ass back to the Peach Cobbler factory. But he did not say I could not talk about your ass on the internet. Well, he might have said don't post no embarrassing photos of you. But I don't got no embarrassing photos. I got an embarrassing video that I have yet to post. But you said you was going to sue me for defamation of character, twin. <laughs> Let's get it done. Let's get it done. This is what I do. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love law. I love court. I love I love it all. I promise. All right, y'all. So I just found out. Restraining order is granted. Now let's see who got their bag for their attorney. Mine is higher for my defamation of character case. This is the first I ever just pushed an issue. But somebody got to be an example because there's too many people who want to be investigators. And Vaughn, I'll see you in court last week of this month because not only did you lie like I got a car in your name, you lied like I got a loan in your name. And the whole time the paper was for safe home security services account that you had to get as an investor of my tax company back in 2019-2020. Danny, no, that, that is not what he said. Hold on, because now I got to play this part of the clip. Hold on. Listen to this. I think this was court too. <laughs> to prohibit any harassing, annoying, alarming, tormenting, or embarrassing information. What I take it is uh, posting anything on the internet, on any of the social media outlets, or going to the place of business. Boom. One more time. What'd he say? I am. That's granted. He said. Only thing I'm going to grant is her going to the place of business. That's granted. He didn't say nothing about the internet thing. If that was the case, then what the fuck is you posting on the internet for? Huh? Huh? Do we need to listen to it one more time? Any harassing, annoying, alarming. Hold on. That can do, but this is not one of them. Now, I don't have before me. A request uh, running both ways. I only have a request uh, for to prohibit.
prohibit any harassing, annoying, alarming, tormenting, or embarrassing information. What I take it is uh, posting anything on the internet, on any of the social media outlets, or going to the place of business. That's granted. Did you hear what he said? He said it's not harassment. Yeah. He said, I don't have before me any order besides posting anything embarrassing on the internet or going to the place of her establishment, employment, whatever the case is. And he granted it. whoop de doo You got a judge to say I can't go to the Peach Cobbler factory. Nobody gives a fuck. That shit is nasty any fucking ways. He did not silence me. He did not say I couldn't talk about it. He did not say I could not use my First Amendment right to speak on it. So if you're going to utilize it and what the judge said... Utilize it right, Danny. So, yes, I'm so glad you got your defamation attorney because I'm excited. I'm about to bust your life wide open. I promise. Restraining order is... Well, there y'all have it. Motion for temporary restraining order to be submitted. No posting to social media and no entering the place of her business. Meaning, I could talk about her all the fuck I want to. All the fuck I want to. I cannot go to the Peach Cobbler factory. It says no posting to social media, friend. How did she not see that first one? <laughs> it said no posting to social media. Girl, she trying to go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because no judge is going to sit there and say if she's posting about something you allegedly did. How? Y'all see it? Yeah. Well, she went straight past that. Like, wh how how did you miss that? Y'all, I'm about to go live on this page. Come put with Randy. <laughs> Y'all, I'm about to go live. Oh, that was 20 hours page. ago. Yes, sir. I'm I'm trying to figure out what's going on. <clears throat> I can't tell how long this is. Oh, you can. We gonna be able to hear everything that went on. about y'all but I would not do this I would not do this like okay at this time then petitioner uh, you may uh, call yourself as a witness or you may call uh, opposing parties a witness or whoever you wish I just reacted to the shit that's in court, friend. I put it on my Patreon. Washington. I'm the franchisee of the Peach Cobbler Factory here in Freestyle, Texas. Okay. So you're calling yourself as a witness? Yes. You will come and have a seat yes. on the witness. Oh, they was going back and forth.
Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Chastain Washington. I'm the franchisee of the Peach Cobbler Factory here in Frisco, Texas. Um, Sherelle Hodge has been tarnish, trying to tarnish my business since February of 2024. Um, a, a planning opening Peach Cobbler Factory. I opened on August 24th. This started around August 27th. She showed up to my store twice. Um, I have recordings, video recordings of her saying that she's going to physically assault me at my store. Um, she has been harassing my employees. I also um, have a police report against her right now. So now What's your name on, on Instagram, this friend? This morning, I actually sent some proof of all the videos that she's been making on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. Damn, I should have told you bring me a water bottle. Water. I'm going to go get one. Uh, it's long as hell, ain't it? And the damn thing is white, so I can't see <laughs> how long it is. <clears throat> oh, they already addressed the glasses in court? Oh, this is 50 minutes right here that we about to listen to? Oh, hell no. <laughs> Why I can't fast forward it? I didn't even know you could post that long. Uh uh, y'all y'all see I can't see. This work.
Let me sign for this. I'm talking about. Okay. That's why a rich bitch like me, a rich bitch like me, gotta walk around with security. Of course. Of fucking course, bitch. I don't give a good goddamn security or not, bitch. I see you. I'm diving on them. They want the football tackle my motherfucking ass. They gonna have to football tackle me, ho. Cause you shouldn't have left, you shouldn't have touched my kids. You should have left them alone. And you should have just handled the whole scam allegations the way that you needed to handle it. But ain't no fucking way. You sitting here lying to these motherfucking people talking about you got 32 offices open under your name. But a bitch can't find not now he fit under your name. Chestine, Christine, Morphine, Morphodite, whatever the fuck you <laughs> The judge said it's embarrassing. It is. You ain't Delta. Come on, bro. Now I'm going to remind you. Now I'm going to remind you. I want all the smoke with you and whomever. Because right now, look like you've got Bernie Mac Jr. at your bodyguard. And we all know how that goes. <laughs> we all know how that goes. Yeah, I'm quite sick of you motherfuckers. And then you sitting over there posting all these pictures. Everything around you blurred because you got 15 different fucking filters across your damn face. <laughs> Dissertation. Real talk, and she said that's a threat. Oh, my God. No, no, no. I'm asking a question. Is it true that I posted it? I didn't know Sheree. I didn't know who she was. Um, all of a sudden, she started posting things on TikTok. And I kind of let that slide a little bit until it started getting to the point that I, I dated a celebrity YouTuber. And she popped out again, which is in August. And that's when I got a attorney involved. So everything that she's been doing on the internet when she first approached me, like I said, I didn't know who she was. She tagged my name and things. She put up things about my business, told people not to buy their taxes with me, told people not to um, support my peach shop, her factory, factory business. She has rolled by my mental health facility that's here in Fort Worth, plenty of times, talking to my clients, um, has been doing a lot of things like that on the media. So that's how I met Sharia Hawkins. Okay, so is it true that in February of 2024, I made a status with proof that you not only filed a person's taxes illegally, you had those same taxes sent to your bank account and that person never received their funds? Okay, if you had proof, 
No, no, no. I'm asking a question. Is it true that I posted it? Okay. So, I expect a question to be asked when it's completed, then an answer to be given. You don't talk over each other. Yes, sir. And, uh, you know, you guys got all this money that everybody's talking about. Why don't you have attorneys here to teach you how to. Oh, I never claimed. <laughs> I never claimed to be a millionaire. I thought you did on that thing, but anyway. I was mocking her, sir. I'm sorry. According to um, the client sending her a certain fee. Just a second. Go I don't ahead. think there's a question before you get it. Now it's okay. her time to ask question. Okay, go ahead. My question was, is it true that I posted on social media with proof that you illegally filed someone's taxes and they told me that they hadn't received the money and your communications to them were you had that money sent to them and that it would... Excuse my language. You be damned if they receive their money. Is it true that I posted that in February of 2024? Oh, that's exactly what you posted. But according to your proof, you don't know how tax, a tax business works. See, we have an Ethan that's leaked to the IRS bank, and the IRS bank send out all the tax returns to it for us. So nothing goes to my personal account is what I've been trying to tell you. And before you posted that, I did come to you as a professional and told you that I will be thankful. I would I would have been grateful if you would have came to me prior than just blasting my business because it's always two sides to a story and you're not an attorney or a judge. Is it true that with you being a service bureau and Ethan Holder, that when you file people's taxes, that money goes to a bank? Refundo bank, and then you are authorized to print checks to give to clients, correct? So according to when we file taxes, the money and the refund is distributed through Refundo Bank. Which you so have control. They, so they send a deposit out, and according to the checks, we don't even do checks for our company. We haven't did checks since 2018, 2019, so it's strictly a direct deposit company. So according to what you just said, Refundo is the bank that that receives all of the money from the IRS. Who's in control of that account? Who's in control of that EFIN number? So in, in control of the EFIN number? The EFIN that's so under EFIN that account. The number is attached to refund the bank. So let's say you get your you get your refund and your refund date is tomorrow. So if I put in a system that you're gonna get a direct deposit, refund the bank is gonna send you your direct deposit and they're gonna send you my prep fees to my business account. So the only thing that goes to my business account is my prep fee not nobody refund. So when you put out false allegations that people refund go, goes to my bank account, that's when I got an attorney from because that's not true. Oh. I ain't gonna lie. I don't think Sherelle's gonna be able to beat that one. Like, you would have to have some hell of a proof as in the bank account to prove that some money that she was supposed to file and give to somebody else went to her bank account like you really like she would have to include her bank statements and all kind of shit she's not gonna win that can i use the thing y'all about to go live on this page what the fuck happened was that it ain't no way god damn it yes sir was that it She can't, people would. How can people prove that that money went into another bank account? What um, the fuck go live is on this happening? Page. Oh my God. Yes, sir. And now I can't find what a damn... Oh my God. I'm going to end this because this is fucking... They got proof they never got. They got proof they never got it. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below, girl. Give me a second. Because I'm, I'm, I need to have the, this video in my possession so I can control how I react to it. Because I clearly can't. But anyway, let me know what y'all think. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.